guys. Hello. So it's Valentine's week and Sean and I thought that we would talk a little bit about matters of the heart this week. Before we get too far in, I have a little surprise for you. Really? Yes. Okay. Get you a box of chocolates. Oh, I love a heart-shaped box of chocolates. I do. And I do like that they have the, you guys can't really see this, I call it the chocolate map. So the... Oh, did you save that one for me? Okay. We can talk about, oh, okay, okay, we can talk about this later. I actually have one more thing for you. Really? They have the AIDS bear. Thank you. You're welcome. He's so cuddly, I've always wanted my own. You have one, so now I have one too. Well, I happen to have something for you too. Oh, my very end. Now I don't have to steal your chocolates. Well, box of chocolates. it's a little different. I had something else in mind. Ooh. <laughs> Check it out. Even better. A box of condoms. An assortment pack. I want to try this one. I want to try that one. I want to try that one. I want to try that. I guess we'll be sharing these as well as the chocolates. Sounds good. So Sean and I do actually want to talk about matters of the heart and love since it is Valentine's week this week. One of the things I wanted to address was um, the fact that a lot of people who are living with a sexually transmitted infection feel like they aren't uh, deserving of love and they feel like uh, they don't have any chance out there in the dating world and that they feel like they have less of a chance of finding a partner to enjoy this life with. I just want to say you shouldn't feel that way. Um, it is hard when you get diagnosed with a, uh, a lifelong sexual sexually transmitted infection and all those fears of rejection really come to the forefront. Everybody deals with challenges. We all have challenges. I entered this relationship with HIV and you know I brought along other challenges that are you know maybe harder for Gwen to deal with than just my medical resume and we worked it out. Gwen also came to this relationship with personal challenges she you know had to overcome. What you're saying I'm not a perfect partner all the time every day? We'll address that in a future video. No, I'm well aware that every person that comes to a relationship, as Sean was just saying, uh, brings something to the table. And I certainly brought some of my own things to the table. Just because they weren't a sexually transmitted infection didn't mean that it didn't play into our relationship and how we dealt with each other just as much. Part of having a healthy relationship is two people coming together, being completely honest about who they are, what they bring to the table, and dealing with it, because really love does conquer all. Whether you've been diagnosed recently or a long time ago, um, I'm just here to say, uh, you know, you really have to accept yourself. You have to realize that you're worth love and you're a catch. One of the things that really helped me in the beginning of our relationship was that Sean had already accepted the fact that HIV was just a part of who he was. And because he was so accepting of it and he was so comfortable with his status, that made me a lot more comfortable and it put me at ease that he knew who he was and he knew what he brought to the table, as we say. And if you don't have a sexually transmitted infection and you meet someone who does that you're interested in, don't rule them out. Give them a chance, just like you would give anyone a chance and see if you're compatible. We're just all about people going out there and not feeling restrained and going out and finding love and enjoying life to its fullest. So we hope that you guys have a great Valentine's week, uh, Valentine's Day, whether you have a partner or not, that you enjoy yourself, get yourself some chocolates, some heart-shaped chocolates or some heart-shaped condoms and uh, have fun. Absolutely. We'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.